profile pictures. Something that I've actually struggled when my channel is brand new, you know? I was scrolling through multiple countless and countless YouTube tutorials just to make the perfect profile picture that I wanted. And uh, I had a lot of trouble, but eventually in the end, I actually made it. You know, I currently have the profile picture that I have right now. I've had it for like almost a year now. The reason I'm making this video is because first of all, I haven't uploaded in a month. You know, sorry about that. I, I have a life, you know? I want to save you guys some time, you know, because I really don't want you guys to suffer as much as I did just for a god dang profile picture. This tutorial, I'm just making so that you guys can save like a lot of time because like not saying the other tutorials are bad but they're really not for beginners so this tutorial is like if you're an absolute noob at making like gfx this is for you so you're gonna need a few things to install first of all everything is in the description first thing you're gonna need is the uh, character loader thingy in roblox studio you know the plugin whatever it's called you're gonna need blender obviously hey just because you're splendor doesn't mean it's gonna be difficult trust me as long as you follow every set that i'm doing it's gonna be just fine all right trust me all you download is blender lightroom which is also blender if you see the background colors in the description, don't download them yet. It's for later. I'm going to explain to you why. And um, I wish you good luck. And remember, if you got any questions, I'm here in the comment section, right? Don't just leave the video and go to someone else's video because I'm always here in the comment section, right? Let's get straight into it, all right? Wish you good luck. All right, so obviously the first step is to get to Roblox Studio. And then once you're in Roblox Studio, what you're going to do is that you should find the plugin tab at the top of your screen. You click on it and then you should find the plugin low character. Remember that every plugin or program is out in the description. Make sure to download them. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use my friend Chunker's avatar, Chunker315. Make sure to check spawn at origin, all right? So now we'll spawn an R15. And here we go. We got our character inside of Roblox Studio. Next step is to make the pose. So as you remember, you have to download the old Roblox animation editor so now i'm going to explain to you why i you have to download the old one and not use the newest one it's because the newest one once you leave the animation editor your character goes back to its you know like original pose like something like this while you know for the old animation editor you can just anchor your character and then exit it and your character will remain with the same pose as you designed it so first of all let's click on the old animation editor and now click on your character's torso and select so here we are now let's do the pose the pose is kind of something that i sucked at when i was a much newer channel but as long as you follow every step that i do it should be all fine all right so what i do usually is that i would click on the forearm and push it slightly forward and then click at the top and push it slightly to the right same thing for the other one you click on the forearm put it slightly forward and you click at the top of the arm and you put it slightly to the left and then for the legs you just click at the top of the leg you'll just twist it a little bit from that side same thing for the other one but in the opposite direction so and for the head you're gonna make it face the camera so you're gonna twist it a little bit Make it look here and then twist it to that side. What people usually forget to do is to anchor the character before leaving the animation editor. So what you're going to do now is that in the Explorer tab, you're going to click on your character and then you go to model and you find the anchor button. You click on it and now you can now go back to plugin and click on animation editor. You will lose on say progress. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. You click on OK and there you go. You got your character with the pose. Once leaving the animation editor, what you need to do now is now we're going to export it. So same thing. You go to Explorer. You click on your name. You're going to right click click and find export selection and then just give it an original name something creative or whatever's gonna help you find the character again in your files so we would call it the uh, rice eater guy by the way he's not asian i'm the asian one so don't call me a racist please now let's save it uh yes and there we go save it in the file so next step what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go to that blender file which is called lightroom so remember it's all in the description so make sure to download blender before downloading that lightroom program all right all right, so now I just opened Lightroom. So something that I've actually struggled quite a lot is how to move inside of Blender. I'll try to explain it as simple as possible. It's really not that tough, right? In order to zoom in, zoom out, you're gonna uh, scroll the wheel of the mouse forward or backward. If you wanna look around like this, all you have to do is that you hold the wheel of the mouse, you hold it. You hold the wheel of the mouse and you can now move the mouse. And something that people don't usually show you to do is uh, moving that way. It's really efficient and really helps a lot. So what you gotta do for that, it's the same thing than doing this but you will hold shift at the same time. So you hold left shift and now you can now hold the wheel of the mouse at the same time. You hold the two buttons at the same time and now you can now move the mouse and see how you can actually move that way. It's actually, it really helps a lot. So you might wonder, uh, what is this little pyramid thing? Well, it's actually the camera. So what you're going to do now is that you're going to click on that camera icon and you're going to see that little square thing. You're going to click on N and there should be a new option appearing. Click on view right here and you're going to check to 3D cursor and camera to V, whatever that is. I'm not really an 
expert at Blender, okay? I'm just teaching you the basics, so I'm not really good at it. Now you can see you can actually move, you know? Same thing, the wheel, the mouse. Basically, you zoom in, zoom out like I told you earlier. That's pretty much the absolute same thing. So, all right, so now you can click on N again. So take off the menu and now click again on the camera icon. So what you're going to do now, we're going to try to get your avatar inside of Blender. So what you're going to do now is you click on File. And then you can go to import and then wavefront obj so you're gonna find your character model wherever you put it for me it was in home so i gotta find it it's rice eater guy there you go now that you select your model you click on import obj and there you go you got your character that's amazing but it's in gray what to do like i i want to see the colors well simply you're gonna go at the top right hand corner and you're gonna click on that button right here so there you go it doesn't look the best but at least you can see the colors much more so now what you're gonna do now is that you're gonna center your camera around your character so you're gonna click on the camera icon again and now you're gonna move like i taught you to do earlier remember the wheel of the mouse or you can just hold shift while holding the wheel of the mouse you now all you're gonna do is that you're gonna center your character inside of the square make sure the entirety of your character is inside side of the square right so but make sure it's not too big or too small just fitting in general so it doesn't need to be perfect though it needs to be a little bit more accurate now that i centered your character the last thing we gotta change is the lighting that's like the toughest part of the tutorial it's extremely easy though so at the top right hand corner there should be uh in the list the option called light you click on it and then make sure that uh, that little thing is clicked that tab is checked you click on it and then there you go so you got that back top left right warm cold i will tell you what to change right so for the back you click on the bar there and you change the back color that you wish so for this tutorial i'm gonna use blue so i'm gonna make it blue if you pick yellow then make it yellow you know you just pick whatever color you pick so for the top keep it in white left i'm gonna change it to my background color in blue right keep it in white for warm i will uh, change it to I will keep it at white and for cold I'll keep it that way there you go so the next step that you need to do is to render the picture so at the top left hand corner there should be the render button appearing you click on it and you click on render image I'm not gonna click on it right now because it's gonna kill my PC so you click on it but I'm gonna stop my recording but once my render is done I'm gonna start recording again and tell you what to do so in the meantime just click on render image and I'll see you in two seconds all right, so I just got done rendering. As you can see, there's my beautiful character or your beautiful avatar right there. So what do you need to do? You're going to save the image at the top left-hand corner. There's the image tab. You click on it. You go to save as, and then just give it whatever title you want. I'll call it like an absolute random title. And now you can just save as image. Congratulations. You just got past the toughest part of the tutorial. Was it really that hard? Nah, not at all. All right, last part. We can do this. Let's go, man. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to use a photo editor, which is called Photo P. You might be wondering, I I'm not really a good photo editor. How am I going to make the background? Well, guess what, man? I'm going to make your day. I made the background for you, all right? So in the description, there's the there's the link for like every background color that you want. For now, I only got seven colors. So if your background color is not in the list, you can just leave a comment down below. And I will make a background just for you and update the description, all right? So if you want to know how to make the background yourself, there's uh, the, the tutorial from that boy elite want to give you a shout out man thank you he's the one who made the original design i just replicated the design multiple times just for you guys so that you guys wouldn't have to make it yourself so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna click on open from computer yeah we're gonna pick our background color for me it's blue so i'm gonna pick blue background and you're gonna open it so yeah just look at it it's beautiful isn't it <laughs> anyway so what you're gonna do now is that at the top left hand corner you're gonna click on file uh, you're gonna go to open in place and then you're gonna find where you saved your character image so for me it was in it's in home uh so i gave that a weird name and i'm gonna open it so you may not be seeing your character right now that's because the character is like behind of all these layers so what you're gonna do now is that you're gonna hold left click and you're gonna bring their character place it there there you go beautiful isn't it you can now see now you know you might be currently saying it doesn't really fit the background well we're gonna make it fit right now so if you want to change the size or rotate your character you go to the edit tab and then there's the transform you can either scale or rotate so for me i'm gonna need to scale my character and make it much larger so that you can see it more in the image so let's try to center it and uh yeah that's beautiful all right let's keep it here for now okay so now you can go to your character uh right click and then click on rasterize now it's time to make it blend with the background right so let's get to your character right here right click click on blending options you're gonna see a whole bunch of layer style options don't worry just follow everything that i'm doing right so you're gonna check stroke you click on stroke click on the black box change the move that circle to white you just need to use the left click okay so you move it to white and then there you go change the size to four depending on what you want because the stroke is only like the outline of your character so you put it whatever size you want but for me i think four is going to be fine now we're going to go to inner glow you check it and now you click on inner glow and you click on that yellow box uh move that circle thing uh, there now go to your background color so for me it's blue so i'm sending it to blue and for example if you pick red go to red 
you know, you just do whatever you want. So now let's change the side right here. You can see that there's a glow inside of your character now. So do whatever you prefer. So for me, I believe that 70 is going to be good enough. And the final thing, you're going to check outer glow. And now click on outer glow, click the yellow box. Same thing. You're going to move that circle to there and that corner. And you're going to go to your background color. So my background color is blue. So it goes to blue. And for that one, you can put it to the max. Congratulations. You just finished your pull-up picture. And now the only thing we need to do is to save it. Now let's go to file at the top of the screen export as and then png and give it whatever you want let's call it the w because you just finished a brand new profile picture congratulations ggs you did it mr Bear!